going on everybody welcome back to the channel well i am here at toloke cemetery in napa california i'm still here checking out this beautiful beautiful cemetery flies and the flies are bugging today <laughs> and really buzzing around and yes i did shower so i don't know what the heck that could be wrong here but let's go check it out found an interesting stone here with a red hat at the top of it. Cynthia and Terrell Grigsby. Uh, Cynthia lived from July 25th, 1817 to September 4th, 1898. And Terrell, February 3rd, 1818 to January 16th, 1892. And um, nothing much on them. It's just that they were born in uh, Tennessee and died in Napa. This hat up top. I'm wondering what the significance of this is. I looked up. I looked them up on Vine Grave and stuff, and I couldn't really find anything on them. This is the at the bottom. Their trials are ended. The rest is won. Good look at this at their uh, names here. So this is wife of T. L. Grigsby. And then there's Terrell's sons out, so it might not come out too well. But there we go. Again, the darnest things that you find in the cemetery here in the Murphy plot here in Napa. And then look at these stones. The one thing I noticed about both of them is they don't look like they're made of stone. Upon further inspection, it's metal. I've never seen a metal gravestone in person. I know they looked different looking at it. Uh, Peter J. Murphy died January 3rd, 1874, aged 21 years. Beautiful stone. Mm. Or, I guess, marker. <laughs> it's metal. And the same one over here, but I don't know who this was. There's a piece missing from it. Another family member, of course, but that's metal as well. This is crazy. I've seen these on YouTube and stuff before, but I've never come across one in person. Now I can say that I have. But it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful marker. Guess you could put somebody on the backside too, I guess, because there's a nameplate there too on the backside, but very unique. And it looks like, no, nah, I thought maybe it came in two pieces. It looks like it might've come in two pieces. There's a seam here. Oh, very, very awesome. A.W. Norton. This is the final resting place of Abram Norton. Let's see here. Is there middle there, gold lettering on the left? May 7th, 1827 to December 3rd. 1891 and Mary. May 1st, 1833 to February 6th, 1875, it looks like. Found out a little bit about him. It's, I guess he died um, in 1891. He died of a lot with a long bout with pneumonia. And he was a business owner. It looks like he um, worked at a blacksmith and machine trade shop and took a steamer over to here. The steamer went from New York to California here via Panama and he boarded the steamer North America. After being out two days, the steamer was wrecked and from Valparaiso, he went to Acapulco by land where they boarded an old bark, which took 80 of them to San Francisco arriving May 1st of that year. In 1872, Mr. Norton purchased an interest in the firm of B.F. Sawyer and Company, now the Sawyer Canning Company. At the time of his death, he was one of the active managers of that institution and its San Francisco branch. And this is the rest of his family in here as well. As you can see the bottom here, there's a Hugh Norton McCrabby, 1922 to 2008, and Jane, 1926 to 2019. Those are pretty recent on the bottom there of all those flowers. So obviously they still get visits here um, because there was some pretty recent ones that were interred here. And then they've got different people. Louise Norton, 1889 to 1980. Ferris, 1896 to 1979. 
um, Homer died in 1918. Just all kinds of family. There's like six family members in here. This is just awesome. Some of them are readable, some of them are not, but yeah. Again, those pretty cool like dresser drawer kind of handles on, on the, on the um, stones. Now he's got straight ahead in the middle there his wife Mary with him. <laughs> Get this, on the top one right above them, there is a Franklin Harrington, 1847 to 1874, but then a Francis Norton, which was Abram's other wife. So they're all in the same little private <laughs> area here. Another one, I'm finding that very, very often where it's like um, a guy has both of his wives at the same, same grave. It's crazy. And we got another one here in the Plass plot. Edwin R. Harris. Another one where it's a metal stone. That is just... It's like the same design as the other one, right? You can see. Remember that design from the other stone I found a minute ago? And it's Edwin R. Harris. Died June 12th, 1875. Aged 48 years, 4 months, and 23 days. Wow. The Reynolds family area here. I found a little thing on them that's talking about um, they were local business owners. But it's covered in a lot of the trees and stuff here. This is just awesome. It's almost hidden. I almost missed it. And there's another one over here too. We'll get to that in a second. The name on the outside of that is just rubbed off. But Reynolds is like right there on the step. And then it's above the door there behind the, the branches there. This is just insane. We got a... A Joseph, November 11th, 1830, July 29th, 1914, and Julia Francis, spouse, October 28th, 1838, died March 4th, 1914, and James, May 22nd, 1807, to September 15th, 1874, and Mary, 1804 to 1887, March 29th, 1804, February 9th, 1807. Look at this door. With the skeleton key lock and everything. This is just insanity. This is just cool here. Oh, wow. And this is the inside of it. Old cans. Oh, those were old. I think those are urns, actually. Wow. I almost held spider webs in here. I don't want to go in there. But, yeah, I think those are um, Cypress Lawn cremation that says on top of that one can. Insanity. I took a picture of the um, one of the tops of one of the uh, urns. Um, and I got a picture of it right here. I'm going to drop it in this video. But it says on the top of it, Cypress Lawn Crematory Incinerator number 2374 san francisco wow they're just sitting there the two the two urns are just sitting there on the floor in the corner with the door unlocked that is insanity so counting the two um urns in there if you want to that's what you want to call them they're very plain looking they're not nothing very fancy um, it, it went from four individuals to actually six officially with those two uh, cremation containers in there in the corner. I just can't believe it. it's like they're just sitting on the floor there, you know. I guess, you know, they didn't want to open up one of the other individuals and put them in there with them for some reason or I don't know. But that was very interesting, a very cool find. You know, like I said, this whole, this whole cemetery exploring deal, it's, it's awesome because sometimes you just find unique crazy stuff at times. And it's an adventure every single time. Another one right next to the, the Reynolds one that I was just looking at. We got Callan Edward. A seal and carry. Now, I looked them up. I didn't find anything on them. We got Edward, 1838 to 1903. His wife, Carrie, doesn't it? has 1849 to 1896. And a seal, 1881 to 1947 on the bottom there. 
I love how they have these metal these metal handles and stuff. This is just so cool. Came up the hill here to the ones I just showed you. This is the backside of those. Um, interesting shape on this one right here. That, that, that was the Reynolds one I was showing you with the uh, urns inside there. And that is the Colin one right there. This is the Jilson family, Charles Jilson. He was a California State Assemblyman in the 33rd session of the California State Assembly representing Shasta and Siskiyou counties. He was also the owner of Gladstone Gold Mine in Shasta County, California at the town of Jilsonville. So the town of Jilsonville was named after this family too. And uh, Charles lived from 1840 to 1917. It's beautiful in here. It's hard to see that stained glass, but to the left here. That's gorgeous. That one's broken over there. But this is just insane in here. Nice flooring too. Here is the Knight family right here. We got a Thomas Knight. But let's look at the sign right here. It says the pioneer family mausoleums in this area and throughout the cemetery reflect the Victorian ideal that cemeteries should be parks for the living with mansions for the dead. Awesome. Let's go up in here. Thomas Knight. He lived from 1820 to 1903. Born in New York and died in San Francisco. Look at the inside of this. It's gorgeous. Beautiful stained glass. And he is actually on the bottom there, right side. And it's said on Find a Grave, he was originally buried in San Francisco, then later moved to, to Napa here. Obviously one of the transplants from San Francisco, um, when San Francisco started to outlaw cemeteries within city limits. Um, and um, he was... He was one of the earliest pioneers of the state and a member of the party which captured Sonoma and raised the bear flag on June 13, 1846. He was born in Vermont and came to California in 1843, settling in Knights Valley, Sonoma County, named after him. And it says his estate at his death was worth more than $500,000 and it went to his widow, Serena Haynes Knight. So there's children in here too, but... Look at this, just gorgeous. Here is a beautiful one, it's the Goodman family. And walking by I could see something inside, something very cool that was left in there for family. But let's see here what it is. Like two chairs in here, two old vintage chairs with like a flower pot in the middle. George Goodman, 1823 to 1917. It's the Goodman family. Nothing much on them in here. I'm gonna keep searching, but there's a couple more names I didn't see on Find a Grave, so we'll see. It's the final resting place of Philip Duffy. Born in 1833, died in 1915. Was born in Ireland and died here in Napa County. Wow, it says, in 1873, he married Miss Catherine Maxwell, a native of Ireland. Together they had five children, Philip Jr. and Owen M., who carry on the ranch and dairy farm. Dennis M., an attorney in San Francisco, and Ellen and Agnes. So they had a ranch, I guess, and a dairy farm out here very interesting we got plexiglass over the door here this is beautiful inside see the stained glass what is that a lamb yeah
Well, that's it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. Um, interesting, interesting little place here over at the Tulake uh, Cemetery here in um, Napa, California. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and click that bell icon. Therefore, you'll be notified of all of my future uploads, guys. It was a pleasure. I'm going to stick around here in Napa for a little while longer and see what else I could possibly find over here. All right, guys. Peace out.